All right, how do you find the difference? How do, you, how do you solve problems where it says, what's the prime factors or what's the factors of something? So this is prime factorization versus factorization. I'm going to show you the two different ways. You have to read the problem carefully and find out, are they asking you for the prime factors of a number or simply the factors of a number? Here's the difference. Prime factors, I remind you that the letter P which is a special thing here. We have no P over here on factors. That letter P reminds you of P, and dogs like to pee on trees. And so for prime factors, you are going to build a tree. Let's find the prime factors of the number 24. I build a tree underneath that. I am not allowed to use the number 1 and when I <clears throat> do my prime factorization because the number 1 is not a prime number. Remember, prime numbers are numbers that can be divided only by one and, and themselves. Well, the number one can be divided by one, but one is itself. So one is not even considered to be a prime number. Prime numbers are numbers like two, three, five, seven, uh, 11, 13. Probably not going to use very many of those, even when you do prime factorization. Mainly going to use the numbers two, three, five, and seven. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this number, I'm going to break it down into two numbers that multiply to be 24. You can pick any two numbers you want. For the number 24, I mean it has to equal 24, but I could do 6 times 4 on this one, I could do 8 times 3, I could do 12 times 2. i got to pick two numbers that multiply together to make 24. So let's go ahead and do 8 times 3. 8 and 3 are at the bottom of my tree. I just built a little tree here, okay? And <clears throat> the 8 and 3, I look at those before I go any further and I say, can I break those down into two numbers that multiply to make that number, not using the number 1? So how about 8? Can I break 8 down? Yes, I can. What times what is equal to 8? Well, I could do 4 times 2 or 2 times 4. Can I break the number 3 down and make it something times something is 3? No, because 3 is a prime number. Once I hit a prime number, I like to circle those so I don't forget to put them in my answer. Okay, now I've broken the 8 down to 4 times 2. Can I break this 4 down? Yes, I can. 4 is equal to 2 times 2, right? Okay, now, can I break this other 2 down? No, the only way I can make the number 2 by multiplying or the factors of that number is 2 times 1, and I'm not allowed to use the number 1. I broke this 4 down into two twos, and obviously those are prime numbers as well. So what I've circled at the end are prime numbers that all multiply together to make 24. And then you write your answer as 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. I put commas in between there, or you can put, sometimes they ask you to put time symbols like this. Oops, didn't mean to put that comma there. Sometimes they ask you to combine together like numbers like this into uh, numbers with exponents. And so 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, well, 3 twos is equal to 2 cubed times 3. Another way of writing that is 2 cubed, more advanced way with a big dot right there. That means multiplication. All these answers are the same. They're all correct. Now, how can you check to make sure your answer is right? You multiply all these circled numbers together, and you should get 24. So you guys that are having trouble with this, that are getting the wrong answers, look and see what you wrote down and see if the numbers that you wrote multiply together to make the number that they've given you. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Don't add these together. Don't get 6. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. So my prime factors work out nicely for the number 24. Here's how you find the factors of a number. That's where you list all the numbers, including one, that... Uh, you can divide 24 by evenly. So this is where we close down the curtain. We start on one end with 1, and we put its matching partner over there. 1 times 24 is 24. I'm always starting with the smaller number first. Can I put 2 into 24? Yes, I can, because 24 is an even number. 2 times 12 is 24. Can I put 3 into 24? Yes, I can. 3 times 8 is 24. How about 4? Yes, 4 times 6 is 24. The only number between 4 and 6 is 5, and I cannot put 5 into 24. So that is a complete list of all the factors that go into the number 24. Notice the difference between prime factors, 2, 2, 2, and 3, and factors, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, and 
12 and 24 of the number 24. So thanks for watching.